Welcome to AI Toolbox. Today we're going to use Kyber to create a sample of how you can use it to create a music video. So before we get started, you do need a Kyber account. Check the video description for a link and you can sign up if you don't have one. So when you log into Kyber, you're going to be in the Super Studio. And for anybody that hasn't used this before, this is an infinite workspace where you can build all of your creations, images, videos, etc. Kyber's really made a lot of cool improvements over the past few months. They've made the application a lot easier to use. You get around the application by clicking or just hovering your mouse over this little green blob down here and you can you can go into their templates which are really cool and you can immediately start creating images videos you can also create audio um, so we're going to start with creating an image just click on this button and you have to zoom in but it gives you an image prompt this is where you build your image you describe what it is you want to create you select the model that you want. Kyber gives you access to a number of different AI image models. They each cost a different amount of credits. That's the way that Kyber works is depending on which model you use, it charges you credits from your monthly subscription. Um, if you have an inspiration that you want to use as the basis of what you're creating, you can upload an image here to guide what it is you create. You can also describe your aesthetic. Let's say you want something that's modern or retro, you know, you can get as detailed as you want. You can also select from Kyber's existing styles, aesthetic styles. There's some more advanced features, but we're not going to look at those. We're just going to start simple. So here you just, you know, input whatever it is you want to create and select the model you want to use and then click generate and give it a couple seconds. So once the image is finished, it's just going to output it on the canvas. This is actually an image that is included on the Kyber workspace. When you sign up, you'll actually see this image. This is what they, they give you a lot of different images and templates to get you started so that you can, as you're learning and understanding how the platform works. If you want to make a modification to an image, you can just type it like below here in this prompt. So if you want to Let's see, an adjustment and just click this, it charges you four credits and it'll modify your image on the fly. So that's really useful. You can also do the same with videos. You can see here, this is the modification of the image where we tweak the colors a bit. So now the reason why we do this step is before you start making your music video, you want to, you know, finalize the images that you want to use as the basis for the video. Once that's done, you go back here and then you click create a video and it will place a video prompt, which looks exactly the same as an image prompt, except you have access to the video models. So in the same way, you have to select the right model to be able to create what's called an audio reactive video. So you have the two image and video lip sync. And if you scroll in, you need to make sure that you click a video model that has audio reactive. There's only a few in here that do. The one that we're going to use, there's one called Mochi Video, um, Flipbook, this is the cheapest one, and then Video Lab. So we're going to select Video Lab, just click that. In order to load the image that you created, you just drag it here into this box, this image upload. So this is what it's going to animate and then add music to, and it automatically carries over your subject prompt. If you want to change anything on that so that the animation is different than what you use to create the image prop, you can do that. Uh, you can add an aesthetic. So in this example, they added air brush, soft glow, but you can put anything you want. And then this is where you upload your audio sample. You just uh, click choose file. And then you can select a sound clip from your local. Now the length of the video is going to be based on the length of the sound clip. I think the maximum length is 60 seconds in this version. This is just really a short sample. This wouldn't be considered a full music video. You'd have to create like three different videos. Let's say if you wanted to do like a two or three minute video, you would do two or three different video segments. Once you have your audio uploaded, you just click generate and it tells you how many credits it's going to cost and click that. It usually takes one or two minutes to generate the video. The video quality looks like it could be a bit better. If we want to fix that, what we can do is go back over to our prompt and 
click the video upscaler. And you just drag the video that you just created over here and click generate. It charges you one credit per second. I resized it at two times the quality and four times the quality. So you can see the difference. Now moving to the two times. four times. So let's look at one more example. This is another image that um, was created in Kyber. And again, you, you know, you always start at the green blob and click the create an image and you describe what it is you want to create. And they've created two different versions, one that's portrait and one that's landscape, depending on the type of video that you want to make. So once you've settled in on something that you like, the next is to bring that over to a video prompt. So in this example, we have a video lab prompt and um, you just drag the image over to the image section and it's gonna automatically actually carry over the subject prompt that you use to make the image. You can modify that if you want and you can add your aesthetic and then you upload your audio. And then let's see what this generates. Thanks again for watching. I will be back soon with more Kyber videos. And again, check out the video description. Uh, they'll have a link to Kyber. Their new platform is really awesome. So much easier to use than the older one. So highly recommend you check it out. And thanks again for watching.